Hey, uh, welcome to Talk to Canadians, and I am here at Tonda Square. Uh, now, today is very, you know, like a meaningful day. Uh, so, this organization planned in Canada to organize the uh, International Day of the Girl, right? And uh, so, today is a really big day. This is not only Canada, and this is all over the place, right? So, uh, I'm sitting with uh, Karina, yes. right? Karina, and she was in South Korea for four years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Yes. I'm sorry about that. She can speak Korean pretty well. So let me ask her. Oh wow, that's good. Okay, do you want to keep going a little bit more? Sure. Other than 안녕하세요. Uh, 언제 Canada 가요? Okay, that's pretty... Canada. Canada 아 uh, 재밌어요. Yeah. So basically, thank you. Yeah, thank you for trying. <laughs> You're right. welcome. So I'm gonna ask her some questions about. Uh, you know, this organization. At the same time, I want to ask her some questions about the history of this, you know, like, uh, International Day of the Golf, right? Please tell me about yourself, you know. Just, you know, to our viewers, you know. Well, um, I've stood firmly by uh, international development principles since I've, I've been in school, in high school, university, and for my postgraduate. And um, I know a fair bit about plan, but, you know, it's never enough. And uh, it's constantly uh, a learning and a new experience. Okay. So, uh, when did you come back from South Korea? Um, I came back this spring in 2012. I've been in South Korea since 2009. And I lived actually in uh, Cheonan. Chungcheongnam. Okay. That's great. Okay. So, Karina, uh, can you tell about, can you tell us about what made you work for this organization? Do you have a reason why you're working for this organization? Yes, um, uh, I do believe in children's rights and yeah. advocating for children, yeah. which has taken me to many different places. And this organization, I feel, we get, um, we do very well in, in managing the money. Um, as you know, 80% of our funding goes directly to the field, so I strongly believe in that. And uh, in the, the child-centered approach that Plan has, um, I appreciate it, and I can I can devote my my time and energies to that. Okay. So let's say that I want to do something for this organization okay. because you know I believe in the cause that you're trying to okay. kind of bring up, right? So what should I do? Like, uh, what kind of process should I take in order to be involved in this organization? As an individual, or as a as an individual, as a business person, you know, like you just name it. Okay, well the first and the most important thing is to raise awareness and advocacy. Okay. So um, I would strongly recommend doing that because we can't change something until we are aware that there's a problem. Okay. So um, to basically educate yourself, educate others, raise awareness, and then the next step, like anything else, is finances. So donation. We need donations, we need funding, and uh, we can only get that if you know what's going on. Okay, so since you know our viewers, yes. most of them, I think most of them are Korean viewers. Okay. So, uh, do they have organization in South Korea? Yes, there's, oh, really? a, there's a plan office in South Korea. Okay. It is a fundraising yeah. office, very much like the Canada office. Okay. And then what happens from these fundraising countries is the money gets pooled from all of the countries and sent to plan um, international, the UK office, and then the money is transmitted to the field. Okay, so as a Korean person, if I want to donate some money, I don't know. To whom should I contact? You know any? Well, if you are living in Canada, then I would suggest to go to plancanada.ca or because I'm a girl.ca. And if you're living in South Korea, then there is a plan international Korean website as well in Panguma. Okay, that's awesome. So I want to actually move to not this organization, but Toronto, okay. Canada, right? And uh, what would you say to potential Korean visitors to Toronto? What's great thing about Toronto? The thing that I, I love and I've missed and it's so dear to my heart is the multiculturalism. And as you can see from being around here, you're just surrounded by many different people, yeah. different types of um, food and music that you can experience. So I definitely would recommend Toronto as an international and multicultural city. Okay. The last question. Okay. Actually, this is not a question. This is something that I allow you to give a chance to talk to our Korean viewers. Okay. Right? So you just say whatever you want to our viewers. I would say 
you need to visit Canada. It's <laughs> quite different from Korea. Okay. And uh, you can only learn from different from challenges and different opportunities. So okay. definitely Canada is a great place to be. Okay. Um, I enjoyed my time in Korea because okay. I was only supposed to be there for a year. Okay. But it ended up turning into three years because you know it became it, it is my second home. Okay. Are you planning to visit South Korea maybe yes. someday? Uh, next year. Next year. Yes. You know what? Maybe you know what? If you go to South Korea, I can hook you up with some like nice people. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I do have a Korean family, oh, okay. so they would have to fight with my Korean family. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Really appreciate. Well, Thank you very nice up. meeting you. Really, really nice meeting you too. Uh, talk to Canadians and then uh, I will appreciate that and then thank you for watching uh, thank you for coming to my talk show no problem yeah, thanks I again. Mistake. oh my god bloopers <laughs> okay thank you you're welcome I really appreciate it. Yeah.